Pip taking it 3-1 in winner semis. Up next, Razo versus K9 as Bruce on the other side, who will go on, the winner of this will go on to face off against I'm Hip. Uh, so who would you like to see? Chat, press one. If you want Razo, press two. If you want K9, uh, to be honest, I don't care what you press because I'm not actually watching that. That's, that's, for you. that's for you guys. I think uh, I would like to see K9 like, go up against I'm Hip. That's because I want to see how his wolf does again. Uh, Olimar. Yeah. You know, we've seen that matchup a couple times. For sure. Boyd did it against yeah. I'm Hip. Boyd also used it against Shutan. I think I'm Hip and K9 have played that matchup as well. I think MSM? Did they? If they did, I didn't see it. Maybe MSM or some other tournament. Yeah, they, I'm not aware of um, that. I don't remember that exactly. Was but regardless, I mean... Omar? Maybe it was a different Omar. It was like maybe the the week after Heart of Battle, I think. Okay, well, regardless, let's get into this winner semis. Razo versus K9. Now, Razo, no stranger to Wednesday Night Fights, and of course, the other uh, 2D tournament. Oh, okay. Now residing in IE. Oh my god, so K9 opened with a lot of damage, uh, like 2-3 hit string, gave him about 40. <laughs> and Razo said, ha, that's cute. <laughs> Look what I got. Did his turn up uh, Nair shenanigans and finding a forward wow. air to finally secure that stock. Only 49% on Razo now. So yeah, basically he got, clean. he got comboed at the very start and just said, all right, you're not allowed to play anymore. K9 trying to make his way back in. Combo games are indeed strong with Razo. Strong with this one indeed. Oh. Nice. K9. Oh, <laughs> man. Daisy Bomber right into the Force Palm. It's not the, actually a Force Palm, but it, it's a palm, and he applies, a lot, he <laughs> applies a lot of force. <laughs> okay, getting a fair string into the dash attack. It's a Tai Chi Palm. That's why I like Wolf, man. He practiced martial arts. Oh, is that what? Yeah. He, did he study under iron? Yeah, yes. you can tell, dude. He By his, his form. Yeah. <laughs> By, from his back airs, is Wolf, that where you get Wolf it from? Wolf just abuses his speed, man. This is technique. <laughs> okay, good Nair out of shield. Both these, I like how the spacing coming out from Razo. He's making great use of the flow cancel, especially uh, with back air. I love how far that uh, forward smash slides when you do a fading F smash. It looks so tricky. I don't know, man. It seems, seems a little too powerful if you oh. ask me. Oh. Man. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Everything Wolf has is powerful, as it should be. Down throw here from K9, and he runs right into the forward air. Razo had that ready, knowing that K9 didn't quite have enough option to land any true confirms. Another forward air taking. K9 second stock, that's a two for two on forward air kills. Oh, the down tilt Nair oh. string. Only putting 45, I mean, we've seen that combo. Uh, corner carry yeah. and, and rack up huge numbers, but K9 able to steal out the stock to bring the game one stock apiece. This is, this is where it's most interesting to me. When Wolf is behind by a little bit, he gets a double forward air. He could have gotten a little bit more, but wasn't quite ready with the execution, K9. He's just a read and a single neutral exchange away from bringing this right back. I know the percent deficit uh, looks super major, but it really is just a combo and a read away. Oh. I mean, Ron is not really giving him the opportunity ah. to, to get that combo started. Yeah, it's just why that K9 is sitting back and uh, retreating to these lasers. But he gets a neutral air into a double forward air, putting him off stage. The neutral air to edge guard. Ooh, good oh. trip back from Razo. He knew yeah. he knew if that had back air so connected, close. it would have been the game. So close. Oh, and it's his last stock. I thought I forgot Razo was down to the last stock. All right, K9 making his way back. Oh, oh my gosh, dude, Razo not ready with the punish there. K9 getting away with double roll towards the stage and dash attack. Great DI from K9, living just a little bit longer. Uh-oh, you're gonna watch these air dodges and back air out of shield will certainly take it off the top. No DI is gonna save you there. And K9 is gonna drop that game to Razo. And K9 dropping the first game. Or Razo taking the first game. Or K9, yeah. yeah. 
Why not both? <laughs> both. I mean, it very, it very much is both. <laughs> it's, it's just facts. It's just facts. But yeah, so far, uh, I, I really don't know what to say besides the fact that, you know, both players are kind of doing what their characters do best and what they do best, which is Razo is employing these super high damage output combos and K9 is uh, playing a little bit more neutral. Not to say that they're both not playing neutral, but um, Wolf can't press quite as many buttons as Daisy can. And that actually is going to cause K9 to switch from Wolf to a swordie, Lucina, which traditionally the swords, these disjoints are really, really good against uh, the floaty yeah. princesses. Pretty much all the princesses. Yeah. Yeah, Lucina being really strong in this game. Forced to use Toad as a, as a counter to come out and protect Daisy. But now that uh, K9's actually switched to Lucina, he's going to have access to these, these big hitboxes. Of course, great ledge guard with uh, Lucina's back air. Forward air from Lucina, extremely oh safe. Oh my god, wow. dude. Yeah. Okay, forward smash from K9. Still not able to take the stock right here. <laughs> Daisy looking a little bit heavy. Maybe it's because she's shorter. She's got a little. She's a little denser. That's just. I'm just messing around, guys. Please don't go on like to be like <laughs> false information. Okay. Whoop. Bomber's gonna connect. We have Razo, of course, looking for his forward airs. Oh. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that move is wild. He just threw it out. Oh, snap. Yeah, good oh. use of the Dolphin Slash. And then oh. first in the turn up. I can't even say anything. The offstage plays are wild right now. And a forward tilt from K9. Oh my god, dude. That, that just, what? Okay, I, I wasn't sure who exploded, if I'm being perfectly honest. <laughs> but K9 successfully coming out of that trade with 142%. Still living on his first stock. Good use of Sword Dance. Moves really fast. Uh, in Smash Ultimate. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure on the frame data, of it, but that was one of the first things that people said about Marcina is when they were, we were still playing the E3 demo, right? They were like, yo, that side B buzzed. <laughs> Everything's busted in this yeah, game. For sure. You see those double nair into grab? Yeah. Busted. Yeah, into a, a back air. into 63%. Oh, here's another grab. Razo, what's he going to do with it? He gets a neutral air. Oh, ho, ho, ho. frame grabs. trapping into the grab. That's right, the grabs just keep coming for Raza, but an up smash on K9 Shield. Not going to get punished, he's still able to land an air. Okay, good good use of boxing out with uh, Lucina's fair. Yeah. Oh, no, that directional oh, air dodge. Snap. Still able to make it back. Yeah. Yeah, able to kind of utilize. Um, the magnet that does exist in this game is not quite as strong, but still, uh, some characters with linear recoveries like that, they, they can slide up this side of the stage. It's like Fox, like he makes it back every time. I'm just like, dude, you are not close enough. Okay, reduce and there, able to get Razo off the ledge as well as take the turn up. Now dropping really low, but Razo able to float. Oh my forget. god, bro. Hello. All right, so basically taking a sock, uh, the second stock from Razo in the exact same fashion as the first. Oh, he's gone. Yeah. Yep. GG. Magnet hands, not as strong in this game. Not not from horizontal anyways. It's like when, when you come from directly below the lip, you, you do like teleport to the lip of the stage. But uh oh, K9. Oh no, dude. Oh no, yep. Mm. Big mistake. Grabbing the uh, magnets are much smaller, especially when your back is to the lead. You have to be yep, a lot closer yep, now. Yep. That, that, that hurt to see, man. Especially because, like, it, the first two times that he took Raza stocks, he he went super, super down low to get them. I was like, dude, Kana's dead. Like, was it worth? And, like, surely it was because he made it back. But that third time, he was on his last stock. Like, those other two plays were, like, would have been worth it maybe if you lost your stock, but yeah, but you didn't lose the game, right? You can still, you're still in it. That that was just like, that's where I I start camping center stage, go for <laughs> ledge traps, or you name it. Well, I mean, K9's always been a more aggressive player. Yeah, totally. Likes to be in your face as he's in Razo's face now, and he's gonna need to be 
<laughs> but Razo putting out these uh, toad counters, successfully putting on 70% onto Lucina already. Oh, but then there is oh. Razo taking oh. jump, so it is juggle time. Oh my god, he should have let that rip a little bit earlier. Fortunately, Daisy Bomber uh, able to get the hit in. Dolphin Flash to punish the whiff there. Oh, snap, swipe him out. Get that fly out of here. Okay, forward air lands for Razo. Using a second jump. Oh, is he going to be able to? Okay, turns it around yeah, in the right direction. Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like at, at this point, I, I w if I was K9, I would start to see the counter about to come out. So he's getting these combos. He might want to delay the like second or third hit. Uh oh. That's a stitch eye. Is that a stitch? Yep. Oh, well, it doesn't he, matter. he didn't make much <laughs> use of it at all, actually. He didn't make any use of it. It was out there, though. Okay. I mean, Rosso typically had some yeah. good RNG. Yeah, exactly. So it's worth it's worth mentioning either way. It's like, hey, hey he's got that. Hey, we we might have missed a couple other uh, t t uh, stitch eyes for, for all we know. Anyways, game number three. Razo up 2-0 and two stocks more away from moving on. That's right. And with the uh, canine approaching, you know, these death percents, it's looking really good for Razo, especially as he lands these turnips at the ledge. Oh no. Yeah, uh, interesting that he went for that the the uh, shield breaker there because I mean Daisy was well above him and floating in fact so all all, all Razo had to do was wait and he's like oh you 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 want to throw that out I'm gonna land right on you and a back air from Razo securing the second stock one more stock for Razo here and he moves on to fight I'm hip in winners finals back here in a whiff both these players a lot of spaghetti oh yeah man and you could tell that there's a lot on the line, nerves are at play, K9 especially right now. Uh-oh, catches the air dodge with the falling neutral air, Razo chasing with the forward air. Yeah, Razo's so good at those corner carry combos. Another back air out of shield, good out of shield option uh -oh. from Razo. That seems to be getting him a lot of mileage, and now we God. see K9 actually getting lapped in percent. Yeah. Putting himself at kill percent. Yeah, K9 air dodging quite a bit. And Raza with a grab, forward throw. How is he going to make it back to the stage? He burns his jump, gets hit by the turnip. He might be done for. It, and he is at 154. Barely not able to make it back to the stage. I mean, Great play from Raza, honestly. I mean, that, that's just exactly how it goes. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, it's really unfortunate to see the way, like, K9 ended game two. I hope that wasn't, like, on his mind and, like, eating at him during yeah. game three because towards the end of that game he was making a lot of mistakes and Razo just had you know yeah. 